Hey guys, Riskay here, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. So last we left off, we ran over the damn pier. It was some bullshit. But anyway, so, Lucy said that a local woman called Champagne knows everything and that she can help us. Champagne lives and works in the Fisherman's Quarter behind the Creole Quarter. Okay. There we go. Well, this is good. This, this is good. We're figuring things out. Um, so... Fisherman's Quarter, I guess, would be over this way. That's what it seems. Or Sherlock. Oh, there you are. Oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? <laughs> Damn. John said library is open. We are reading bitches. Bitches being Sherlock. Okay, so that was a thing. God, I never, I can never remember what the fucking buttons in this game are. Okay, so yeah, I think... I think we're heading in the right direction. I think we're moving on up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can we not go this way? Is this not the way to Fisherman's Quarter? I also, I still need to look out for those wanted posters. Ooh, is that a wanted poster? No. Lame. Excuse me. Pardon me, what's this? Oh, get a gator. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Ryan Gazebo Kelly. Wanted for stealing an overcoat, a pair of socks, and a boot. Reward a lifetime supply of beer. Now you're talking. Can it? Do I get to choose the beer though? Because I'm really not a beer fan. But you know, I can do some Angry Orchard. I can. I can. I can do some Mikes. I can do some root beer. Oh, I see you. You're not slick. I'm gonna die. You are terrifying, though. Gonna what? Die. What's going on? Are you all right, sir? It'll come again. I will. I will die. What happened? The lower of death came to me last night. I know it will come again. Let's start from the beginning. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Could you describe last night's events for me? Uh, I'm Cole Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist, but then the spell broke and I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider, but it was the lower of death and it ain't finished with me. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many and we call them lowers. And Mammon Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Mammon's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry and my mouth was dry and, and the light became very bright. That is something. Okay. Interesting. Well, I want to do this. Fisherman in distress. Okay, so Cole Seabrook lives on the edge of Fisherman's Quarter. Okay, gotcha. A man named Cole Seabrook claims that he was visited by the law of death in the form of a black rooster. First, he heard a noise as something hit the house. 
Then the giant black rooster came in and controlled Cole's will. Being unable to resist, he was brought outside. He walked to the pond where he met an alligator, who compelled him to enter the water where he almost drowned. I saw an alligator just now. I don't want anything to do with it. Something weakened the spell and he was able to get ashore. Cole's symptoms were blurred vision, dry mouth, and photophobia. I think we've got a new case on our hands. You dropped a cup here. Okay. Da ha. Okay, so we've got a shelf, a table. Got this table over here. What's this? Mix in equal proportions. Goldenrod, strawberry leaves, jasmine flowers. What's this a recipe for? It smells sweet. Large white flowers, okay. This one is almost odorless. Green leaves, gotcha. Interesting. I will take it just in case. Yellow flowers, the pointed leaves. And some are extremely dangerous. Facts. Big facts. All ground herbs here. Okay. That's good to know. What is this? Supper leftovers. Looks like some, some chicken and carrots. I assume those are chicken bones. It's not a simple tea. Herbal concoction, rather. I don't like anything that's green like that. No thanks. I'm good. I will pass. Cheap and strong brew. Cheap and it's strong not. brew. Some chewing tobacco leaves. Okay. Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. With William in Shreveport, 1879. Gotcha. Who's William? Son? Brother? Cousin? Uncle? Nephew? Are you a good fisherman, Cole? I wouldn't say so, sir. Oh, it's okay. Some practice. You'll get there. Sir? I must ask you, did you have a drink last night? No, sir. I didn't take a sip. It all happened before I went to bed, and I only drink to fall asleep. That's just how it is lately. Okay. All right. I have no reason not to believe that. <clears throat> so, let's see. Oh. We have a feathered friend in the case. A droplet, small crack. Four bird crashed against Cole's house. Hmm. Okay, well, that tracks then. Cracked boat is leaking. Damage is recent. Damn. Okay. So let's start here. So he dropped a cup. It's not I missed you. Okay. I mean. Could be. Let's see. Right. Okay, I mean, we have no reason to believe that's the case, so I'll go back with that. All right. Nice. This alligator got anything to do with anything? Your boat is wrecked. What happened? Well, I stumbled over a cypress root. You'd need some force to cause that damage. Yeah. And to be really down on your luck. I feel ya. I feel ya. Talk to that dude. 
Oh, there's something here. Oh, a feather, not black, however. Okay. Expected by the feather of rock here. I mean, you never know. Don't judge me. Hey. Oh, right. Sorry, Sherlock. I forgot. But I need to talk to that guy. Hold on. Can I get in this boat? No. No, I cannot. Whoa. Where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't remember them standing here. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, so... Did y'all see anything? Excuse me, just one question. I'm Moan Tide, but yeah, i help you. Sweet. Cole's neighbors saw him that night, and when he left the house, they thought he was drunk. Cole was alone, no spirits were observed. Now Cole... I want to give you the benefit of the doubt, Cole. But I can't do that if you lie to me, Cole. Fess up. Oh, no two ways of body. There are too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. Okay. Um... Sure, or... I mean, if he was possessed, he could have been... He could have looked drunk. Okay. Oh, there we go. Unsteady. He was unstable. More boot prints here. Handprint crawled. Gotcha. Yeesh. I mean, that's, that's what seems to be the case. Because unsteady and handprint crawled. Okay. I mean, we'll go with this for now. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Okay, so... It's actually that. It's actually that. Okay, it's actually that. Oh, no. That was the one thing that was right. <laughs> I guess he is crazy. That's a bummer. Cole was having dinner. He was alone. The herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside. He could have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. Oh, come on, man. I really wanted to believe in you. Last night, Cole was alone in, ha in his house. Suddenly, he developed symptoms of insanity, and his confused mind created hallucinations of spirits who confronted him. While stumbling around, Cole almost drowned in the nearby pond, but the cold water sobered him up, saving him from an untimely death. All right, Cole, we need to talk. Why are you giving me the runaround? Sir? Cole, I am sure that you were alone last night. The Lowers were not with you. Well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter. Look for a Veve sign, but watch what you see. He has the power of voodoo. I'll be careful. Okay. Interesting. Let's go talk to this... This, uh... What was his name? Samedi? Okay. He's gonna be found at the side of the church at one of the entrances to the Fisherman's Quarter. Gotcha. What is a Feifei sign? I don't know. 
know what that means. Um, you know, you've already been a big help today, but can you help one more time? Help me, please. I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Thank you. The locals seem to respect Samedi despite him being a little strange. He helps problems, uh, he helps people with health problems, can give advice, resolves disputes, and can also remove slander and hexes. Interesting. Okay, so I need to find a church. I couldn't see if there was a church over there. Well, maybe. There might be. You know, the one time it's not a church that has a big-ass cross. Yeah, that's not a church. That is a factory. They are not, in fact, the same thing. Oh, Little pig. I mean, that wasn't really a little pig. That was a big-ass pig, but still. Excuse me. I get it. Is there a creative way of blocking my way? Gotcha. Oh, right, we're back at the... Back at the bar. Okay, then I went too far. That's a church, though. Hold on a second. Also explains why they're trying to keep me out. So that's where I need to go. God damn it. Are you able to help me? What makes you think I can be of any help? You can lose the attitude. A simple no would have sufficed. Okay, well, I need... Excuse me, can I... I need... I need in there. Is this not the right church? Oh, he'd be found at the side of the church, not in the church. Is this familiar to you? Don't be angry with me, sir. I don't know. I'm not angry. I'm just asking questions. the right church? It just seems like the only church. So I'm just like the fuck. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. My bad. Don't mind me. Okay, back there. Okay, well that's the only church I see, so that's gotta be it. Let me go back over by the church. And it tells me to concentrate, but I was concentrating. I didn't see shit. Be here, I'll concentrate again. What is a Veve sign? That's what I don't understand. Uh, yeah, may I ask you something? What makes you think I could be of any help? <sighs> I... I'm confused once again. So, I mean, that that's definitely a church. Maybe, hold on. Maybe I have to go around. That is most likely the case. If there is a way to go around, there may not be. Unless it's like long one. Well, no, because, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. 
What's the fucking deal? All right. Hold on, momento, for for por favor. Okay. So I think we were close. It's just I guess I was taking the side of the church a little too literal. When they really meant across the street from the church. Jesus fucking Christ. Samedi's letter. Dear Mr. Holmes, I know that when you heard about voodoo, you would be immediately skeptical. This world is not what it seems. I find it strange that in your journey you are still in disbelief. I am sorry that I won't be there when you come for me. I would love to help open your eyes. I presume you wanted to ask me about the recipe you found at Cole's house. Knowing of his tragedy, I told him to brew an infusion from the from these herbs. The effects of that infusion are solace and mollification. If you don't believe me, read this book. There are answers that you seek. May the spirits be with you, Mr. Holmes. Samedi. P.S. After you find what you are seeking, please return the tome. Some books can do bad things if they fall into the wrong hands. Alright, well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends at the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!